Hey guys, welcome back for more Rechain of Memories. Alright, so let us move on. Who could that have been before? In my memory. It wasn't Kyrie. But another... Girl? Maybe... I think her name was... Um, sure. Man, was right on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. I wonder who that girl could be. I mean, there's a girl in this castle um, with blonde hair. Could that be the girl? We'll find out. Let's speak of the devil. She's drawing something. Oh. Okay, there's our answer right there. I remember. There was another girl. What? A girl? Where? No, no. I mean on the islands where I used to live. Besides Kyrie and Riku, there was one other girl I was friends with. The four of us played together all the time. Sora, seems to me that's the first time you've mentioned her. Yeah, I guess I forgot all about her. I think she just suddenly went away. When I was still really little. What do you think makes you remember that now? I'm not sure. But it's been coming back in pieces. As we go through the castle. Gors, do you remember her name? I don't remember. I feel kind of dumb. We said we weren't going to forget our friends. And well now, I can't even remember her name. Sorry. Oh, you shouldn't be worrying none. If it's been coming back to you in pieces, you're sure to remember her name just like everything else. Hmm. Yeah, just how that one mysterious guy said, um, what is to lose is to find. What is to find to lose. So basically, he's finding what he, you know, his lost memories. Which that makes any sense. Sometimes that actually does sound confusing as all hell, but you know. All right, so we're heading to Monster Row, the world from the first game. That I wasn't expecting to be an actual world. It's inside a giant, like, whale. Now this place is very confusing in the first game. Like, probably the most. Biggest maze. I wouldn't say biggest maze. It was just, it was just a all-out maze. I, I do like the music here too. Hey, there's a familiar face. Pinocchio. He just lied. All right, well, the same as usual. Gotta fight a whole bunch of enemies, and I'm gonna do quite a bit of cutting because some of the enemies we've seen before, but I'm gonna show you the new enemies. Inside Monster Road.
All right. Yeah, you can hear the. Okay. Yeah, you can hear the noise when I'm moving and stuff. The little weird, gross sound. Yeah, you can also freeze enemies too. Like stop. All right. Yeah, all the enemies are the same basically. Um, from, like from the other world, but. We'll be, we'll be, we will encounter new enemies here. Heartless. Of course, that would miss. I want the large body. Uh, they're very annoying. You stay still. There you go. Yeah, I know I'm not talking much, but, you know, we're just basically kind of doing the same thing. Nope, I don't think so. Got you first. Alright. But li like always, when I stop the video, I'm going to, like, cover every single room in this place. And then we're going to cover throughout the plot the next episode. Alright, so as always, I'll be using this to see what our big treasure could be here. Maybe that's why there's a lot of people that actually don't really care about this game because it's repetitive and it goes to the same route all the time. But to me, I actually like it. It's, it's different. Alright, so what do we got here? Fire Raid, yes. I'm waiting for that one. Now I can use both. Now, alright, let's see. Yeah, I gotta cover quite a bit here. The rooms are getting bigger as we go. Alright, uh. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the save. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be recording quite a bit today, actually. Um, gonna do like six videos today. This is the uh, second one from my recording. But the date I'll be uh, uploading this probably won't be until another week. So today's like the last day of June here. June 30th, it probably won't be uploaded till like July something. Alright, so let's use the Moogle card. You always gotta go around these places so you can get extra stuff. I will be selling a lot of like stuff I don't need. Alright, what do you got? Ooh. 
Yeah, definitely taking that. I know you guys have already seen this. I'm only gonna do this once, and when I get off camera, I'm gonna buy a lot of like really good stuff, and also platinum. So I'll do that later. Oh, okay. We can't go there. That um dash part where it says zero dash. I think I explained that earlier, but you have to pick zero. You have to only pick that one number. That's what it actually means. There's also an arrow down, which means you need to get less than what that number actually is. It's a little bit of a tip there if anybody doesn't know. Alright, so let's use the Platinum. This card's like very addicting because you can get a lot of like... Your Platinum cards like uh, level 9 or level 0. Like decrease your CP points so you can get more cards in there in your deck. But, uh, alright, uh, should I stop the video? Uh, not really, no, no, not yet. Alright. Oh, man. Oh. We got these enemies. These enemies are actually from... The second game, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Just like the Fallout guys and the, uh... There's another enemy I ran into off the clock back in at Wonderland. I should have showed that enemy, but, uh... I forgot. It's that... That horn-looking enemy that shoot. It's like a horn or whatever. It actually summons more Heartless. If you l keep him alive long enough. Ah. Come on, take care of him. What the hell? That's just a healing monster. I, I, that's weird that it's actually countering him. That was very strange. Alright guys, I'm going to stop right here. So as usual, we'll come back for the plots.